Good afternoon, it's Sue from Susie Q Mix. I'm trying a new intro. <laughs> I know you'll let me know what you think. Anyway, I thought I'd chit chat. I'm just finishing off um, like a journaling kit. I used to make loads of these and um, I don't know why I stopped. And my shop is woefully low on Etsy at the moment, so I need to concentrate and get some done. So I was merrily doing away here and I thought, mm, switch on the camera, say hello to everybody. Because I haven't said hello for a while. Right. Okay. What I've done is uh, one of my gel prints, um, obviously pink, I have cut it into one, two, three pockets, a sideways belly band, an up and down belly band. Um, I can't remember which, I think they went sort of, yeah, they were tucks. So that would be the tuck at the top of a page, that would be a corner tuck. These would be two little tuck pockets. Uh, there's a, I'm just constructing this um, page edger snippety thing. And then I've got two tags here as well. So that's quite a nice little additional set to a pinky purpley themed journal. It would go in either, I think. So um, yeah, and I'm just putting on my little flowers that I made. I made a whole, um, of course they've disappeared. <laughs> um yeah, I made a whole load of them anyway, so um, just from paper punches, layering, layering them up and um, some micro beads on that one, but little gems, you get the idea. So I'm just going to stick. <laughs> Nothing rocket science today. <sighs> I've been in a bit of a weird mood. As you probably knew from the gel printing video the other day, it was just like we're um, we've had a little bit of a... I won't say a bit of a to-do, but anyway, things have not been right um, with my middle daughter. So I don't know about you, but when the family's not right, you can't settle. I just couldn't settle to do anything at all. And um, we're hoping things are a little bit righter now. <sighs> you never stop worrying, do you? I mean, do you ever stop being a mum? I don't suppose you do, really um but yeah it's just I, I yeah like i said i can't settle when one of my kids is upset or things are going on i'm yeah i'm terrible yeah so it's what being a mum's all about i suppose you have these little trials <laughs> my granddaughter is um it's not eleanor it's the other one scarlet she is you know it's it's what she's been born with lover and you know she is quite hard work and she is very um suffocating she just you know you can't she's not a child that you could she won't just sit in color you know Eleanor will just you know I'll get the jelly plate out for her and she's off she's settled that's it she can crack on and do that for you know maybe an hour and that's probably about her attention span at her age but you know scarlet bless her she's um she's wired differently and uh, and that's that really that's what makes her scarlet so um but yeah she my daughter's um i think she's reached exhaustion point and um so i have volunteered she doesn't like leaving her mum so i have volunteered for a saturday to see if she will so i'm going to pick her up um on a Saturday morning, not not this weekend, I think it's the weekend after, I'm going to pick her up and have her sleep over. I might not get any sleep that night, <laughs> so you might not get any video on the Sunday, but um, I, I don't know what the answer is, you know, and that's I think that's what my problem's been, why I've not been able to concentrate on my craft is because you know, given the job I do, you know, we do come across children like this and you don't realise until you're actually faced with it yourself just how exhausting it is uh, dealing with. I won't say she hasn't got special needs, but she's got additional needs, you know. So, yeah, she's um, she's an odd one, but she's lovely. I love her to bits. She keeps telling me she's not going to have a boyfriend. It's all good. Good. Nanny hasn't got to worry then. 
because she is going to be so blooming vulnerable. Oh, yeah. You have to keep a close eye on that one, I think, because she's going to be tall, blonde, and beautiful. She's got the most amazing green eyes, and she's very slenderly built. And she is going to be an absolute, well, she's a stunner now. So when she's an adult, it's going to be, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you've got granddaughters, it's like, Arr! keep the walls from the door. So, and her dad slipped his disc. Then they're, they're not together, the parents aren't, not anymore. He um he did enough damage. Um, but yeah, he's, um he's kind of had an epiphany. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say he's a, I think he was just a typical lad in the day when she actually had Scarlet and, um, you know, didn't want to be tied down. Well, of course, he's now matured and, you know, got a semi-sensible head on his shoulders, but he slipped a disc. So, you know, because she used to get a bit of respite when Scarlet went off to stay with him for the weekend. But, of course, she's not having any at the moment. And my daughter's exhausted because, you know, she is full on. So... I said, right, well, look, we'll try it. We'll do a trial period. I'll just do one night and see if she settles. And, um, you know, if she doesn't, then obviously we'll have to think of something else. But hopefully she will. She's not too bad with me. But, um, you know, if you haven't dealt with a child with those needs, it is just, um, it is hard work. So, yeah anyway and I think I think that's why I've been a bit a bit out of sorts should we say so hopefully everything's settling down a bit. God. you'd like to think that when they get to a certain age that's it you know you can sit back relax and just enjoy your grandchildren but the other one's all right <laughs> she's fine me and my Noanor my Eleonora Yeah, different um, different parenting skills, shall we say. So, anyway, that's enough on that subject. I hope everybody's well. Um, if you're new here, uh, you are very welcome. Um, I haven't been doing many videos, but I've been watching loads. And I thought, yeah, it's about time that I did a proper, you know, hello and welcome to uh, I'm Sue. This is Susie Q Mates. So, because I haven't done that. It'll never be professional on this channel. Don't hold your breath and think it will be because it won't. I'm still waiting for my daughter to do the exchange on the iPhones and then I might be able to um, have a go at um, mackerel hair. Uh, mackerel's the cat, by the way, if you're new here. Um, yeah, I might, uh, might be able to have a go at um, doing some editing, but we shall see. <sighs> on iMovie. Again, don't hold your breath, because I am a total dinosaur. And quite frankly, if it's good enough for Gail Agostinelli, it's good enough for me. She doesn't know how to edit, and she said the other day, actually, she did make me laugh. She said, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't want to have to learn how to do that as well as everything else. And I totally agree, because I must admit, I listen to some YouTubers, and they're like, yeah, it took me, I don't know, um six hours to edit this video i haven't got six hours to sit and edit a video this is not my job i know for a lot of them it is their jobs you know and that's fine that's um that's their chosen thing you know they make a living out of youtube and and that's that but i don't <laughs> so um yeah i have got a real sort of out of the house proper job and um I haven't got six hours to sit and edit videos, so as much as I'd like to, I don't have the time. Yeah, this is a belly band, as you can probably make out. Yeah, I've got, I've found a load of um, gel prints that I've done, I don't know when, and I thought, you know, you need to, you need to start using these because it was getting a little bit crazy. I had quite a lot. Hence, I thought, let's do this. 
and they're not copies they are the original gel prints so you can actually feel the paint on there so they're quite tactile nearly there two more things to stick no three more things to stick uh, pocket yeah i've got some catching up to do actually um i haven't done robin mcclendon's next uh, prompt thingy so I must get that done and then um, Rachel Roxy Creations has come out with the next load of um, uh, prompts that's the word I was looking for for the um, stitch along thing we're doing so I need to get some ideas together for that it was oh vintage fabrics and colourful butterflies so I should be able to do that there. I might actually because I was thinking of firing up my um, uh, um, wax melt things I could do that because there's space on some of these and I could put a big so I've got a nice B so we can do that while we're at it can't we yeah I was saying, I, was, I used to make loads of these and I just didn't and I don't know particularly why. Just kind of stopped doing it, really. That's the seam edge of the um, cheesy cloth stuff. And I thought, oh, that's a nice bit of texture. So we'll keep that on. talking of Gail I've, I've got quite envious of her um I liked her painty magazine book thing she was doing the other day I thought oh I might need one of those in my life and it's just a muck about book you know you just sit and doodle on it and play around and that's how you get all your best ideas when you're mucking around don't you so I might have to do one of those because I've also been watching It's the one that Gail always goes on about. Um, Kerry, Kerry the Kerry the Crafter. That's it. I've been watching a few of his as well. So um, yeah. Now I need something else to go on this one, and I don't know what. This is when I thought, oh, switch the camera on because you haven't had a chat for a while. Um, now the only trouble is, I got rid of my scrap box. I um, sold it along with a big bunch of cards to a young lady who was very, very thrilled. So, of course, now <laughs> I haven't got any scraps. Uh, let's see what we can find. I did keep some bits back that I really, really liked. So, I what we got in here. Yeah, and I'm determined they are not going to build up to the point where I had the biggest bag in the world full of scraps. I'm not going to go there again. That's rather nice, isn't it? That's even nicer. No. I'm going to go with my first thought on that, actually. Yeah, that goes really well with those, right? Um, I have no idea where this came from. It was in a set of some sort. But I can't remember what. So, sorry. Can't help you. I think, like most crafty people, we... Um, we have a stash. We don't always remember where it's come from. Um, I think I want the darker side. Scraps. Yeah, definitely want the darker side. But you there, you there. Thou are there. So let's chop you about there. And then we do some wax stuff, what do you reckon? Sound like a plan? Because I've got it all, never use it. It's just, um, yeah, sat in the drawer. Why do I always run out of room? Yeah, so like I say, I've been doing a lot of watching and, and not a lot of creating. And today I felt the need. I needed to do this today, so... Um, I'm obviously um, coming out the other side of my worries and my woes, so um, 
yeah it feels good it feels good to be back in my room i've just walked past it the last four or five days and um And I'm glad you're here with me, because you are. But to be honest, I don't think without doing um, without doing the YouTube channel, I don't think I'd do as much crafting. I'll be honest with you, because you get in a bit of a. I'm not liking the colour of that flower. Um. Yeah, you guys sort of motivate me, really. You know, it's um. It's it's a reason to no, um to do stuff if that makes any sense whatsoever uh, thank you thanks for being there <laughs> that's a bit better i think i prefer that one they were great fun to make actually um yeah if you want me to demo it let me know but it literally is paper punch flowers and just you know but let me know if you fancy sitting and making a load of flowers i have got a little Thing that I want to show you but I've got some more of these bottles with the very fine nib on can I find them no and I don't know where they are I've looked through everything that I could think where they are and they are not showing themselves to me at the moment so I'm getting a little bit frustrated I'm hoping it's going to be one of those jobs that it kind of turns up without thinking about it <laughs> you know so um yeah if we get these on anywhere it's quite nice that isn't it oh i know what else oh i did do a bit of buying it's a bit naughty now this is cory denham's fault um i don't know who makes it oh here we are creative expressions let me get it up close to this is lovely um it's this one and i was watching um Eva from Bohemian Crafting, was it last night? And she was saying she bought a set as well, but I saw it on Corey Denham's um, uh, eh, channel first, and I instantly I froze the video when she showed this, and I was like, "That is exactly," I was because I'm off to the West Point show at the end of this month, and that is exactly what I was looking for for my crafting, just numbers, random numbers that look vintage. That you can stamp your own tickets and tags and that kind of thing so yeah and i found um oh gosh what were they called oh they were so cheap um it wasn't craft stash it was craft uk or something and obviously they're in the uk whether they ship internationally i don't know i can't tell you because i don't know um yeah and they were cheaper than amazon i'll find the um i'll find the receipt i don't think i've got it up here anymore um and i will let you know what they're called because it'll be on my phone memory and obviously i'll use the phone for filming right stop talking because you're not concentrating right so that's that's done i might get some little yes let's do some little labels let me grab some um tea dyed paper bear with me I shall be back in a second. Need to move all that lot. Sorry, haven't left you. Back in a tick. Actually, I'll tell you what I use. I'll use some of this lovely paper that Angela gave me. Because that's um although will that go? I think it will be alright actually for Be a bit big that one. Let me find my homemade label stamps. Sorry, not organised. Bear with me. Yeah, that looks a good size. Although I forgot I had these. So naughty. Round ones might be quite good actually. Uh, I think these were an AliExpress job. Whether they're a knockoff of somebody, I don't know. Um, if I, I must admit, if I find, um, if I see them, 
and they're like a knockoff of somebody else's i i bin these basically and buy the proper set because like every other crafter i believe in supporting the person that actually invented it but i'm not actually um not yet anyway if you have let me know and i'll um, and who made it and i'll certainly sorry my chair keeps slipping away from me um i'll certainly bin those and um is there going to be a number tiny enough to fit on there though well we can do a partial yeah all right let's not fuss okay I do a couple. I think yeah, I think black will look good on this actually. They don't have to be perfect. I'm not looking for perfect. I just want let's do three like that. And then do some of these, but chop them in half. Should have thought about this before I actually put down all the bits and bobs, but never mind. And then we'll do some uh, wax seals. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just do a couple more just in case. As soon as I saw those, I was like, that is exactly what I've been looking for. These are very new. So. So what I'll do is just put them in the top there. You're not new now. You have been new. Sorry, it was really loud. Let me just take that backing off and then uh, it's a lot less hassle. Let me just make some room, Susan, make some room. Yeah, as soon as I find those bottles, I will let you know. And I'll show you something that I used to do a very long time ago. I haven't done since. <laughs> what else should we have? Let's just do nine one nine oh. <coughs> Dear, excuse me. I won't put it in one of those because that's a little bit samey. We don't want samey. Oh, there's number 261 there. That's a nice little one. Yeah, they're great. I'm enjoying these. Sam Poole is the uh, designer. But search by the um, product number is probably the best thing, which was... CEC 959 dates from the past. I wish I could remember the name of the blooming place I got them from, but I really can't. Um, I know it's something Craft UK, but I can't remember. I will find it. Um, Don't want Paris. Let's do eighteen forty two. Okay. 
got just one more, two more. I shouldn't have stamped that one in the middle, the Wally. If I can just get that 1936 on the end there. Yes, finger is very helpful in these um, situations. <laughs> I'll do. It's 18th of June, I think it says. Um, right, one more up there, and then what I'll do is I'll cut them out and I'll come back to you because you really, really don't need to see me sitting cutting that knot. It's one there, 19. I'll get that 18.89 and not the Paris. Let me cut those out and I will come back to you and we'll get this lot finished. I'm thinking of making a grungy lot and I'll show you why. So I'll see how long this video has been going on. <laughs> it could be a long one. All right, I'll be back in a moment once I've cut these out. Won't be long. Right, all cut out. I've put some wax on to melt. I think you can just see it in the corner there. So whilst that's doing its thing, um, Let's decide what we want there. Here I can see a big patch of, of um, wax with the um, B. So that will go there. And then maybe we'll just tuck that under there or something. Could look quite nice, couldn't it? Who knows? Let's just try it. You don't know until you give it a go. Um, the circles are smaller. I didn't have the right size punch to... Um, I'm hopeless at cutting circles, so I wasn't going to do it freehand, I can tell you. Um, yeah, I didn't have quite the right size paper punch to... Oh, no, don't say it yet. Um, to cut that the bigger... Hang on, let me show you, because I'm probably waffling and you're like, what? Yeah, it had an outer circle, but my punch wasn't big enough. And the next one up was even bigger. Like, paper away from the flame, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> fire next okay I don't know if this needs one this is the sideways belly band might put one here or something yeah let's put one there maybe under yeah no it'll have to go over it's, I've, I've punched the corners with a fancy punch so maybe I'll just sort of offset it down there sorry I'm dripping stuff on the glass again aren't I oh cracking me wax has melted right okay that was quick Make sure we get the B up the right way, which is that way. Let's tip a little bit. Oh, you're a left handed pourer. Right, okay. And because it's a pocket, it will be fine. Stay. The wax is now burning. <laughs> Hold on, let's grab a bit of cheesecloth. It's dripped down the side of the bowl, that's why. Whew, there's nothing quite like the smell of burning wax. Right, there we are, calm down. Let's stay molten, thank you. Is it come off? Not yet. Right, okay, let's leave you on the glass so it get cold. Let's carry on with numbers. Okay, so that's an uppy downy pocket. So I think a nice number here and then a blob of wax there will look good. Right, 
I really need you now. Thank you. Right, so we've got a bead. And I've got some gold. I'll um, go over that with gold in a second. Let's get this next one on. Nice colour that actually. I think it's just about right. Yeah, it's not too pink, it's sort of a pinky purple, so looks good. Okay, let's pop you there on the cold glass. Put another thing of wax in. Where were we? Right, so you're done. I could do a wax melt here actually, that could look quite good. Maybe a number up here somewhere. Try not to overthink these things, just sort of, you know, just go with it really. Just go for it. Sorry, I'm going to keep an eye on the wax as well as everything else. <laughs> right, you're going to come off. Thank you. dries down really um cools down really quickly actually let's make a bit of elbow room here it's awkward it to pause that way it's not the um i suppose it is it's just me being awkward yeah come on phil more wax thingies i've got my granddaughter sorting all these out for me and i wicked i said to her right there's a job for you it's not known get on with it <laughs> am i a wicked grandmother <laughs> probably yeah it's working well actually right okay stop walking talking susan uh just have Did I get a one on that one? Let's put that there. I need something there, but I don't know what. Um, didn't quite get enough on there, but there's enough on there that it looks fine. Didn't quite make the hole. I thought it was a bit short when I was pouring the wax, to be fair, so um, let's grab out my bling. get some smaller ones of these I think I think these are the largest ones they do sorry if my head's annoying um, let's 
So I'm looking around my desk and seeing if there's anything that I could put there. Oh, I know what I could do. Just stay there. Don't go anywhere. Be, I was thinking of a flower button. I might get the um, sorry, completely disjointed today. Just bear with me. I'm thinking of putting a button in the wax. Oh, I don't know. What the lights have we got in here? These are more vintage. These ones. No. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry, I just don't know what else to see if I need to put a cluster of buttons. Struggling, 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 struggling. Originally I thought a flower there, but it's got too many flowers. Maybe not that one. Yeah, There's too many flowers, isn't it? Sorry, I'm going to pause you again because I need to think. And I always think, oh, the camera's running. Right, yep, yeah, I'll be back with you in a tick. Might be some. Right. I'll scoot your head on the rest. Um, just put some numbers on the um, tucks and things and the pockets, the corner little. That one's a top one. <laughs> I thought, why did I stick that upside down? I didn't. Um, the other tag, I just put that there and I, I feel that's enough on that one. So there's a lot of pattern going on. And then that was the one that the last press that I did. So I will just wax. Um, Put the oh, this stuff, the gilding stuff, on the bees. So we'll do that together. I'm going to experiment here. I've found some metal buttons because there I was saying that I need to get some little, um, you know, stamper things. But let's try these buttons. They're pure metal, so um, they should be fine. And what I'm going to do is practice on here first. I did try the button, and I think if you had a really ornate flat button, that would look really good. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to put one on there and one on there. I just feel that needs something else. It's not enough. So, um, maybe under there. Anyway, so I've got some more wax melting. And then I'll just ink around the edges and then we'll be done. And that'll be a whole set and I can get those photographed and put in the old shop. Of course, when you want wax, wax to melt quickly, it doesn't want to. Let's give it a couple more seconds. Um, let's do some. Just using the um, Dusty Concord Archival. I've got the mini which is quite nice. Get a bit bored with um, vintage photo on everything. So um, I know a lot of the crafters are switching over to um, walnut stain, the darker brown, but it just, it really does just make a difference. So and whilst I'm waiting for that wax to melt, you can be bored to tears watching me do this. Um, are you there? Nearly, nearly ready. It's a little blob in there. I just wait for that to melt.
yeah I, I thought it was time I started using my um, jelly prints anyway so like I say this one is totally unique I have photocopied a load because when I did that um, video the other day I carried on without you I know um, and I did some what I feel is absolutely cracking stuff so let me just try this just a little bit on here I'm assuming these buttons will work I don't know <coughs> excuse me I don't see why they wouldn't because they're just metal yeah I've got there's that one that one might be really nice actually are we going to release yet? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's put it on the glass. It'll be colder. Are you going to release? Oh, kind of. Yeah, it works. Okay. More wax, though. Let's put this one on here. Stay. Yeah, was that? Heat's transferring. Oh, that was warm. one I don't know I think there it's the only place that's really got room for it don't run everywhere oh, ouch it's warm keep it on the glass might have completely messed that one up, but <sighs> I smoke now. <laughs> Batten down the hatches. <sighs> right. Let's see if this comes off. Right, I'll leave those to cool whilst I do. Sorry, fast forward this. <laughs> it's going on a bit, isn't it? Yeah. So when I got that stamp set, they um, had this stuff as well which I'm hoping is a lot nicer to use than the other stuff that I've had. So let's give it a go. Just want to highlight the B. Sorry about the lighting, it's um, getting late afternoon now. And moving around the edge there a little bit. See that? It's okay. It's okay. Let's put that there. Big fat fingers. Shocking nails at the moment. Just hoping those buttons were metal and not metal look plastic. <laughs> it could all be a disaster. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, although this stuff is, I won't say expensive, but, you know, it's a little bit pricey. I mean, you know, I've just done all that with just a thimbleful, not even that. So, actually, I don't know why I've put it away, because hopefully if these have worked. Oh, my God, which they have. 
Oh, I love that. Oh, can you see it? Let me make sure you can see it because that is gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh, and that's the pattern on the button. Oh, happy bunny. I love it when that happens. <laughs> Something actually works. Hurrah! Now I'm going to be very careful. Enough on there, don't want to go too mad. Oh, please tell me you've worked as well. The only thing is, they do get blooming off, so don't sit and hold them. Come on, actually gone through the holes here which is probably what's stopping it coming off maybe not press so hard next time come on yeah look through your stash for some metal buttons well it's worked yeah really cool make sure you can see that as well yeah Okay. okay, that was a good experiment. I think somebody else has done it. That's not the first. Uh, I'm not the first person to have done this, I'm sure. Right. Okay, happy with that. Cool. Um, I'm now covered in gold stuff. Oh, baby, why yeah, good fun. I don't know where all my bins have gone. They're around here somewhere. I know that they haven't gone anywhere. And of course it hasn't really damaged, it hasn't damaged the buttons at all. So that's good. I'm going to put those in my tub of stuff. In my... I've got a load more in here actually. Because there's um that's the what that's what gave me the idea. I found that in my um vintage box, but it's an anchor. I didn't really want that on there. That one we've got already. See, I thought that one would look quite good as well. Give that a go at some other point. Oh, what else got on it? A coat of arms. It might be alright. That's got a castle on it. Yeah, I separated out all my metal buttons a while ago. So. I'm not sure about something like that because I think the wax would get caught in between all the filigree on there. It's a little anchor. Yeah, it's a crown. Yeah, so, um, yeah, instead of going out buying loads of um, head things, look through your metal buttons, see what you can find. Anyway, right, let's just give this lot a quick dusting and I'm going to let you go because there's been a lot of chatting. Oh, actually, let's give it the fancy corners like the other lot. It all matches. Of course, you're not going to go over there. No, of course, you're not. It won't go over the wax. So, what we'll do is we'll just round the corner. And that'll be all right. Yeah, so anyway, there we are. <laughs> I'm hoping I might have my weird mood, which would be good. You can't really see this on here because it's quite dark anyway, but we know we've done it, so it's all good. I love that one. That's really effective, that one. Do 
doing these little bits it just makes them all look like a cohesive set then because the gel print was um it kind of faded from one side to the other but by doing this it just brings everything together all the same corners and stuff like that it just makes it um come together really in my mind in my opinion it's my humble opinion i'm no expert one more i'll lay them all out and you can have a good squeeze my glass thing I need to get my um, alcohol ink up here because it was this one I don't know what it's made from I don't know but anyway yeah so as you can see that makes quite a nice pocket set a couple of tags belly band page edger thing That's the other tag That's a side, uh, no, that's not a page edger. And then there's a sideways belly band, whichever way round you want to do it, that way or that way, don't matter. And then a top tuck, another top tuck. Uh, top tuck's the opposite way, bottom tuck. That's it, yep, that's it. So, um, I hope that was all right. Just thought I'd just, you know, show you what I'm up to. You can't even see half of that. There we are. <laughs> right thanks for watching and um yeah give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one bye